Hey guys, welcome back to Galaxy Games 843. My name is Matt, and this week we're focusing on refurbishing a vending machine quickly and on the cheap. So as you can see, uh, this is uh, an older USI vending machine. It's a snack machine, and it's just like the machine we have in our break and alignment shop. I uh, picked it up for a really good price last week, and I want to get it location ready. So everything works on it. Um, of course, we do need to replace the cotter pin in that coil to make it turn properly and make sure it's not falling out. But there's a couple things to address. So first of all, at the bottom machine, there's some rust spots. Now, when I got it, uh, the bottom strip was painted. Um, so I had to remove the paint and that's where the rust spots were exposed. So what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna, get, we're gonna address those rust spots. First, we're gonna, we're gonna hit them with a wire, a wire brush. So that way we can get rid of the rust. And then we're gonna do a, a, a fine sanding and clean it up before we go and give it a paint job. So we'll let you watch me work on removing the rust from the front of the panel, and then we'll move on to the next step. All right, so for the next step, we are going to start masking off the areas that we do not want to get paint on. So starting with the keypad, we're actually going to use some um, heavy duty masking tape and we're going to go ahead and just do it all around the edges of each of the um, areas, like I said, that we don't want to get paint on. So we're gonna do it for the whole keypad slash money accepting area. We're gonna do it for the glass front and the trim around the glass front. We are gonna do it for the coin return slot and we're also going to do it for the, the um, the snack uh, retrieval door, I guess you could call it, where you will actually reach in and grab the snack once it falls after you've purchased it. So go ahead and watch me uh, mask it up and then we'll move on to the painting. Also want to feature a video that our fellow YouTube content creator Tim made this week. He actually interviewed us here at Galaxy Games 843 and here is the thumbnail and the link 
for the video will be in the description so make sure after you watch this video you go down to the description and click on that link to watch that video there's a lot of great info about vending and arcade machines and different things like that so make sure you check it out guys All right, now that we got everything all masked off, we're gonna go ahead and start the paint. Now, as you can see, I've put the paint that I'm using here in the video. So we're using Rust-Oleum Appliance Epoxy. And this stuff is great because it sticks really well to metal and it really only takes one coat. So you, you're gonna see throughout this whole process that I'm, what I'm starting off doing is I'm kind of doing around the edges of the area that I've masked off to kind of create like a little paint seal, we'll call it. Um, and I'm doing it kind of light and I quickly noticed right there that I missed a piece of the um, masking of the trim there of the glass window. So I have to address that real quick before I continue shooting any more paint because we don't want paint on that. So after we get that taken care of, we're going to continue to go around the edges and make sure that everything is addressed and everything is has a nice even coat. Like I said, we really only need one coat because this uh, appliance epoxy is made for actually applications like this. It's made to be heavy duty and it's made for metal appliances. Um, you know, as you can see in the, in the picture on the can, it's uh, they're using it on a refrigerator. So you can use this on stoves, you can use this on you know, any type of appliance like that. Um, since a vending machine technically is an appliance and it's made of metal, it works really well too. So that's why I use this um, appliance epoxy on things like vending machines, change machines, and other things that you know are gonna get a lot of um, hand traffic, we'll call it. You know, people putting their hands on the machine and different things like that. Um, so, certainly um, use this product if you want to uh, refurbish a, a vending machine. I think I, I can get I get these at Walmart. And they're like they're like less than five dollars a can. So I think I think all in all, this uh, this machine took two and a half cans to do. So, long story short, it cost me roughly under twenty dollars. We'll say um, with uh, with the masking tape and the paint um, and. Uh, you know, I already had cotter pins in stock uh, in my little tool chest thing. So, all in all, to make this machine look nice and fresh and get a location ready, it cost me under $20. So, anybody can do this. All you got to do is take your time. Just make sure you're getting even coats and coverage with the appliance epoxy. So, go ahead and watch me paint everything up, and then we'll show you the final product.
All right, with all the painting done, it is time to remove the masking. So I'm just going to go ahead and remove all the masking. Um, step by step, I'm going to remove, I removed the glass first. Now I'm removing the keypad and the money accepting area. And then what we'll do is we'll remove the masking on the coins, uh, coin return and the snack dispensing window. All right, here is the finished product. So you can see that Rust-Oleum Appliance Epoxy looks great. It only took one coat and the machine looks like a whole different machine. It looks brand new. Uh, I know it's kind of tough to tell in the picture, but trust me, it looks great in person. It's gonna look great on location. So guys, thanks so much for taking the time to watch all the way to the end of the video. Another reminder, make sure you subscribe to our channel and click that bell notification so that you're always notified when our new videos go live. Uh, we've got it. We're going to make another collection video coming up. It's been a couple of weeks since we've been to our location, so we're going to be going to that next. Make sure you give us a thumbs up, share our videos, and tell your friends, guys. Thanks so much for stopping by. This is Matt with Galaxy Games 843. We'll see you next time.